All right, finally, I got some time to uh, to review what uh, I'm using on a daily basis now. Um, I review quite a bit of Fusion bags. Um, West Canvas bag, I love them, I still use them. Uh, but lately, uh, I have been using this one uh, exclusively on a daily basis. Uh, this is called the uh, Rutger Stimmen. Um, he is an English uh, letter maker. Uh, I love his work. I, I've been researching his work for quite a while uh, before I order from him. Uh, so this is a, a briefcase that custom made for me. And let me get a ruler and measure it for you. So this is, uh, I have the exact measurement, but right now I don't have it with me. Uh, length is exactly 16 inches. Um, the depth is about 5 inches. And the height is, I think, uh, yeah, 12, close to 12. Sorry, I mean 11. 11. So it's 16 by 11 by 5. Um, this bag is uh, exactly the way I want it. Uh, so I don't think I, I, well, I cannot say, I can never say never, but I don't really believe I, I I'll buy another um, leather briefcase. This is exactly the way I like it. Uh, it's all custom made, uh, made in Le uh, England. Um, I almost visited the guy physically there because I was having a business trip uh, nearby, but it takes about two and a half hours driving from London, so I did not eventually I didn't go, it's just too far. But anyway, um, everything custom made from the handle, uh, the strap, the actual body, the leather, um, the way the strap, the design, the lock, um, the corner protection, uh, the magazine pocket in the back, the luggage the zipper, and every single item here is um, exactly the way I request it. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I will really buy another one, really. I mean, unless I want another color or for a very different location. Otherwise, I think this would be um, uh, my go-to leather briefcase for life. Okay, so let's go over it one by one. Oh, by the way, I pack the bag exactly the way I pack it uh, every day, go to work, so you can see how everything fits together. All right, so let's get started. Okay, good. Uh, first of all, uh, Ralph is a cool guy. Um, he responded to my email really, really quick. Uh, once I uh, request all my um, uh, requirement and specification, and he just go into detail, extreme detail with me every single step along the way. So I highly recommend um, Ralph for everybody, for anyone who really want to have a fully custom made, Leather bag, uh, one of a kind, with in terms of material, design, dimension, everything you can name it. Material behind the shoulder pad, everything is uh, exactly the way you want it, and he will be able to make it. Uh, so this is the way I like it. I uh, let me see how it looks. Yeah, it looks good. Um, I looked at many of the custom briefcase that he made before I make up my mind to go with like what exactly each and every detail. Um, okay, let's start with the letter. Uh, English bridal letter. Um, very, very uh, good vegetable tan letter from England. I think it's from one, I, I don't remember the exact uh, tannery, but it's one of the oldest one, like 200 years old one uh, tannery uh, factory in, I don't remember the location, uh, but it's in um, near uh, London. I, that's all I can say. I can I can provide the information below, but uh, they 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 spend they put the letter into those um, die for a very long time, for several months up to like half a year. So I really believe that uh, it smells really good, and it looks uh, really cool. I like the way it age. I cannot wait until it really create a lot of uh, patina for the, with this one. Yep. All right. So. Let's, let's go maybe from top to bottom. Okay, um, so here's the thing. Uh, I, I'm a very picky person when it comes to shoulder strap. Um, the proportion, it cannot be too long, otherwise this thing will hang out way too, way out here. And it cannot be too short because sometimes um, 
I really wanted to wear exactly the, the, the length I wanted. So I did a lot of back and forth with Rob on the right length. I think I ultimately come up with this one here. Um, it's detachable. Okay. Let's put this on the side first. Okay, exactly how long this is. Uh, right now, I my I set it up to about um, forty inches. So this thing right now, from end to end, is about forty inches. Uh, I mentioned that I need a relatively relatively longer shoulder strap just because I I move around a lot and this thing moves back and forth. Surprisingly, this thing doesn't really move a lot uh, and back and forth uh, with this strap here. Um, I think that the, the tension between the strap and the shoulder pad is really great, so it doesn't move back and forth. Um, it's about um, 11 and a quarter in length for the shoulder pad, exactly the way I want it. I asked him not 11 and a half, but 11 and Quarter and he made it from the quarter. It's amazing, uh, and and he even put a little bit of uh, suede uh, leather back, which is uh, padded, really comfortable. Uh, at the beginning, it's a bit stiff, but over time, it's really uh, softened up, and I love it. Okay, uh, of course, I picked the um, the brass for my hardware, and I hook it up like this on the back. All right. Even the even the, even the way uh, the shoulder strap getting uh, strapped on the, the hook on both sides, I decided that the set location. You can put it here. You can put it. Uh, some people put it on top. Some people, very little people, put it on the back. But I prefer the back um, because, as you can see, my on the back. The um, the Filson small carry on is also on the back, and to me is the best position. I can tell you why. I picked this location, this specific location here. Position. Um, first of all, if I carry my bag, let us say this hook on both sides is on top. When I open the bag, this thing will bang, and it will just you know pull up. And I cannot really use it when they pull up. When I'm walking around, this thing pull up, it's just very inconvenient. The whole things will fall off and it will be it looks messy. So on the top is totally not work, working for me. On the side, it may work, but as you pull it over uh, on your shoulder, this thing tend to get to, uh, closer together like that and interfere with the top, right? So if I have it here and it has tension and it will you know, scratch back and forth with the with the with the cover here. So I don't think on the top is a good position. But the back is the best. Uh, when I carry my bag, I can open it easily. You know, get my stuff, and it's not going to interfere with anything. So I think about it a lot, really, for minor detail like this, and I I really want it on the back. I don't want it on the front, on the side, or on the top. Or whatever I just want it on the back okay so here's the location and it has to be designed in a way that it doesn't interfere with the magazine uh, pocket here and it's perfect and uh, I asked him to accommodate by having the, uh, the luggage uh, 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 slip on you can just put it on top of the luggage and it go no way it doesn't sh shift around uh, with the cat with the West canvas if you um, put your bag on, on the luggage, it's, I don't know, it's slide back and forth, it, it doesn't feel safe, it doesn't feel secure and in place. But with the leather, with a, with, with a pocket, with, with a zipper like this, it just slip on and it doesn't move anywhere. It's just so tightly placed in one location. I love it. So this is what I have. And he asked me, hey, do you want my company logo? I said, sure, it looks cool. I mean, it's a... It's a masterpiece of work. I really want a logo, but I don't want to have it on the front because I don't think the logo itself should be part of the design, overall design and look. So, and I also don't want it like hiding in the inside the bag. So I asked him to put it on the in the middle of the the bag in the back here. Cool. So we talk about 
this. Okay, uh, the magazine po um, uh, pocket here, it has two buttons here. Basically, it's to prevent um, the, 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 ha the carry-on uh, hand carry. Uh, metal will, will, will not shift outside of this tight position. So I even provide him all my luggage uh, handle dimension and he fit all this for me. So these two things are really, uh, it's really the first time I see this stuff in any uh, briefcase. So I'm really glad they have it. It's very solid, not going to go anywhere. And then the handle. The handle itself um, is slightly more expensive because because I go with the uh, the fancy deluxe version of the, uh, the stitching and the thickness of it. So it feels very, uh, you know, secure and not flimsy. It just feels very chunky. <laughs> so I really love the handle. Um, and the stitching on top is amazing. Uh, well, do you know the crazy thing about this? This, this guy, Rob, is, he's so good. He even asked me like, hey, do you guys, uh, do you want uh, stitching all the way here? Or just, uh, or just stitching uh, on the top? Uh, what, what, what do you prefer? And I said, I don't want so much stitching everywhere in front. Uh, for function purpose, stitching here is, of course, is necessary, but I don't think on the, on the flip, is, on the flap itself, stitching is necessary. So I asked him, don't add anything necessary just for the sake of uh, aesthetic. So no stitching uh, here, and I think it's cleaning it up pretty nicely. Uh, doesn't have any unnecessary design feature on it. The lock. Uh, let's go on to the lock. Okay. Um, uh, okay, I'll be doing good. Good. The lock. Uh, people say, oh, they don't prefer the look of the lock because. Um, is uh, not necessary. Nobody love the bag nowadays, and it's uh, it's make make it more traditional. Well, my my answer to that is that's exactly what I want. I want to be able to lock it, uh, when I need to, and I want it to look traditional because, um, this is what I believe in getting a leather briefcase. I want it from the most original place. In this case, it's London, UK. Uh, I want it to be the most traditional design but with the modern uh, flair and also uh, the feature that, you know, I, I love. So I, I wanted the, the lock. I actually love the way it age. And you start to see some um, oxidized uh, aging look of the, of the brass lock itself. Uh, uh, all the scratches that you use the most is here. It's scratching up. The hand touches the most. It start aging around it. I, I love it. I just, Thing is amazing um, and the um, I don't like the um, the uh, what is this called the the, the close uh, the locking strap here I don't want to wrap around the whole bag to the bottom and back the whole thing I feel like it's a little bit um, over design if you have a lock with it so I I, I, I still want this because without this too I feel it's a, a, li a little bit plain so I want some it's kind of strap for the uh, because I feel like it's it's good because I'm not putting all the stress uh, or all the security uh, locking uh, functionality in just the lock alone, right? I I share with with, with the strap here. If for some reason this is broken, I still can kind of close the bag, uh, so it provides second layer of protection. Uh, by by the way, uh, when I lock the bag, I don't. Uh, really close the uh, I don't really lock it up with this strap here I simply put the strap in the hole and it will be secure it's not gonna go anywhere okay so that's the front of the bag another feature I have is um, the uh, corner protection I learned this from another uh, customer in in the, the with raw and he and I, I love the way uh, it brings to the to the on the table here. Um, it does po provide uh, true protection. I bumped into the I went to a hotel and you know different offices and bumped into many wall uh, walls and doors just because I'm you know not the most careful person on earth. And and, and if I don't have this, I, it, it, over time it's gonna bend out of shape. So with this is double layer of super stiff um, 
bridal leather, and to me it's the best uh, protection right here. So I have it on both corners. I don't have it on the back because I, again, for functionality reason, how frequent you're gonna bump into this angle, right? So I don't want to over design it. So no extra protection here. Um, okay, we cover the strap, we cover the back, the top. Okay, the side. Um, when I carry my bag, um, I don't want any extra stuff on the side unless it's necessary. Um, I thought about having the key leech right here, but I honestly I don't um, I don't like the look of it outside with the key leech. I think it's hanging around. It's just not as sleek and professional. So the key uh, leech is inside the bag. I'll show you. But on this side. I have my luggage um, uh, holder, uh, the, uh, the the batch here. Uh, I'm gonna cover it, but if you flip it on this side, it will be my my uh, company card. Flip it on this side, uh, this will be the the logo. I mean, this guy is so good, man. I don't even know how to how to explain uh, everything. But I want this here. Uh, another reason, just in case, I want to. Uh, Put a carabiner here, I can do that, but I don't see a reason why I need to. But this is for the luggage batch, which is awesome. Okay, okay, let's go into the back, finally. Well, let me see, okay, good. Um, let's open it up. Okay, by the way, when you open it, this uh, lock, you cannot just push down. It's not gonna open unless you give a little extra touch. Like that, yeah, and then it open. Okay, I pack my bag exactly the way I pack it every day when I go to work. Okay, so let's look at it. Okay, my notebook, my uh, accessory pouch, my actual laptop, uh, my wallet, my battery, uh, extra battery, my headphone, my uh, company badge, extra lock, and other different stuff in the front and my key uh right here all the keys and stuff here okay so let's go one by one okay uh definitely i bring my notebook with me and and, the, and i tell him all my stuff uh the size of my stuff and ask for his buy if my bag is too big too tall too wide because one thing i want to prevent is ordering a bag that is too slim or too wide so the, the, the depth of this I, i've been debating or going back and forth with Ralph on that uh for so many many email i think ultimately we exchanged email over 47 times yeah before we confirm everything so anyway the depth of this is about five inches so five inches works for me okay uh okay notebook as always, I always bring my notebook here. Uh, this is what I use. And also, I have my uh, document pouch, accessory pouch right here with me. I love this thing. I find it extremely useful. And uh, I, I don't purposely match the color like this together. It just happened to go really well. So I, uh, yeah, I... I ordered this thing. This thing is from France, if I'm not mistaken. And the color happens to be quite similar. So it's good. It's really aged. Really aged well, this stuff here. Okay. And then my laptop. Okay. Nothing fancy. Just a Dell laptop. Put it here. Oh, by the way, um, when it comes to a laptop, there are many different ways how you can uh, put it inside the bag. Uh, after uh, talking to Ralph, he recommend to have the laptop divider in the middle of the bag uh, for weight distribution. So right in the middle is a perfect spot for that. And when you, the bag is standing on its own, it's not going to collapse, you know. So right in the middle turns out awesome. Initially, I asked him to put it on the back and after talking, get his advice. He recommend the middle, which is awesome. And taking it in and out, it's like, it's, it's so well. You can hear the sound. 
It's so tight and yet not too tight. It's really well protected. And it's not really touching the bottom because uh, Rolf is a super awesome guy. He has a piece of perfectly cut foam. Let me see if I can show that. He has a perfect piece of foam, custom cut for this bag. So it's right in the bottom. And it's provide some cushioning. And it's, it's the, 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 the laptop is really well padded, like surrounded by uh, the foam on the bottom. The top is not, you know, unless you, you know, upside down. Otherwise, it's not gonna be a problem. The side is, uh, you're not touching the side also. So it's awesome. Um, I did not give uh, Roth the uh, dimension of my wallet, but somehow it works really perfectly for my wallet. It's like perfect size. To be honest with you, if, if my wallet doesn't fit, I'll buy another wallet that fit, you know? <laughs> so I just want everything to be like perfectly fit in position. I, and this one comes up perfectly. So that's my wallet. You know, uh, natural full, le full grain leather. Put it here. Okay, and on this side, I have the battery, the half phone, and my uh, company badge. And I'm not gonna show it. <laughs> All right, and then I have a bunch of other, you know, accessory and tea bags. Okay, uh, yeah, I also have a uh, lock here in case I travel. I want to be able to lock it up through the handle and to one of the chairs and in case I run around um, buying stuff within a uh, close proximity I don't want to carry a bunch of stuff with me I just, I just lock it up I lock here and here and it's not going to go anywhere you know it's not I, you know people get you know crazy and carry everything with them uh, even within walking distance I, I find it redundant I don't want to do it just want to lock it up so I can have a little bit coffee moment, you know, lying up in the, in the counter for coffee. I don't want to carry everything with me. Okay, last but not least, uh, let me talk about the uh, key leech uh, right here. Um, originally, it's only this long. Let's see, wait, well, okay, it's only this long, right? It's a little bit of a piece of leather, all made by Mr. Roth. And then I just put an extra extension here. I can actually take this out, but well, this is smaller. Yeah, so O-ring to O-ring, collect together. And then when I uh, I need to open the door, I just get, get the key out, get my door key and open it. Open, put it back, that's it. That's the reason I want it to be on the left side or right side, whichever it depends on where you look at it. Um, yeah, that's the extension. If I need my car key, I simply take one out. Or if I need the home key, I take this out. If I need the whole thing, I take this whole thing out, you know? So it's all about uh, flexibility. So all this stuff is in here. Oh, by the way, the um, this key, uh, key chain here is uh, also by Raw Custom Made. It's pretty cool, you know? Give me all this little thing. Really appreciate that. Okay, um, the inside the, the pocket divider. Uh, originally, most people, almost all of them, uh, have sway, which look like this for the inside pocket. Just because it's thinner, it's um, not as heavy. But I, I really, really want the whole thing to be a uh, full grain bridal leather. So I asked Rolf, can you like use the same leather, but maybe a thinner version of it? Because I, I really like the look of uh, leather even inside the bag. And it turns out he made this for me. I'm not sure I, if I'm the only the customer asked for that, but it looks really well. Um, the pocket has a little bit of space. And for the for the wallet one, it's very interesting. Uh, over time, it really kind of stretch out and fit the wallet like perfectly. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. It's just perfect. And this pocket also very useful. I, I just I don't want like even the inside pocket you can customize any way or size or dimension you want. You, you if you carry a lot of pen, you may want some pen holders here. 
uh, if you uh, want uh, some smaller uh, pocket, you can make instead of two, one small, one big, you can like have four small ones, whichever way you want it. You just have to uh, draw it up or describe to Rolf and he'll make it happen and confirm with you before you actually make the cut the letter. So this is what I eventually have, uh, only three. One small one for pocket because I always want to reach out to the same position for wallet. When I'm when I'm buying stuff, I reach out and I know exactly where the wallet is. Uh, one bigger one for flexibility, battery, uh, company badges, uh, extra tea bags, <laughs> uh, napkins, tissue paper, whatever. I don't want too much, uh, too many compartments. I just want a big one so I can uh, put a bunch of stuff in here, depend on the needs here. Okay. So that's the uh, ins, uh, divider. Okay, so let me put the stuff back. I always love to uh, put the big one back first. Okay. And then these two spots right here with the notebook. Oh, it's so perfectly fit, dude. I cannot describe how happy I am about things that fit perfectly for its purpose, for their own space. So my Accessory, pouch, the lock, the uh, battery, my batch, and my, you know, the, uh, okay, the headphone, this thing I don't need. And then every day I just like lock it up, and then close this too, and then I'm good to go. It's very comfortable to carry this one by hand. Usually I just carry it like this, you know. The, the strap doesn't, it's not too overwhelmingly long, so I just hold it like this or this. Or just shoulder, carry it in the shoulder. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, and that is my uh, Roth, uh, Roth Guard Stippen bag. Uh, as you can see, the leather uh, is very, it's pretty stiff, but not uh, uncomfortably stiff. It's, it still has some uh, softness to it. And over, uh, how, how long do I have it? I think I have it over about half a year now. And it's really softened up pretty well, okay? Um, I, I feel like this one is going to last me for quite a while. I don't think I'll buy another one. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'll buy another one for a long time. I just want to see this thing age, uh, use it, and uh, make sure I continue to uh, create memories with it. Um, originally, I wanted slightly uh, one inch longer, maybe one and a half inch um, higher. Um, but he tells me like there's a certain proportion when it comes to uh, um, UK style uh, briefcase um, and they like to keep it more rectangular shape rather than a half square shape you know not so square looking they like it more rectangular looking and to me is I follow his advice he's pretty expert in this stuff and it comes out really traditional and yet, um, with the best material uh, on earth, really. And it will age really well. I think this is a, is it a chestnut color? I don't remember, but this is one of the, if you look at it in real life, it is more like a chestnut color, bridal leather color. It's beautiful. All the scratch marks start happening uh, because of the, the strap, rough, uh, you know, rub, rubbing against this over time. So I, I, I really love this, uh, this briefcase. Uh, and this is what I've been using on a daily basis. Uh, let's do it on the side, okay? Okay, that's it. Any questions or any comment, as long as it's productive or constructive, I'll post it there, I'll leave it there. And thank you for your time, guys.